I'm from South Carolina. I've been to Carolina games, so I, I, I understand how rowdy and how passionate they are about football there. So we, we know it's going to be a ridiculous SEC road game environment. So the, the guys are handling it the right way. Is there an offensive line that had to do a lot of shuffling to go through and kind of capitalize on that? You know, I, I think they, they have a good group where they're healthy. You know, they, they played a, a number of different guys at, at certain spots. Uh, you know, sometimes that can be challenging. But, you know, the thing that I've seen, you know, I watched them play Louisiana Tech and some other people. Those those guys have come right in. They filled in and, they you know, they come off the ball and they execute well and they're, they're well coached. You can tell that what they're trying to do and what they're trying to get accomplished. So, you know, regardless of who's in the lineup, you know, we've been preparing – you know, we're, we're going to see their best effort, and, uh, you know, it's a well-coached group. What, what do you think about McTelvin? How has he played this year? And, and what, I guess maybe you could do some things with him with, with the offensive line, changing up some stuff. Well, you know, um, you know, each Sosa is, is playing hard and doing what we're asking him to do, and uh, you know, he's he, he's making the plays that we, we need him to make. You know, one of the things I harp on uh, those guys all the time is about do your job and do it well. And uh, when you do things like that, the game will come to you, and you'll make the plays that you're supposed to make. And he's working hard at that, and, and you know, doing that for us in practice. Uh, so you know, they 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 ha I, you know, like you said, I, I know they've had some injuries up front, and you know, Sosa's a, a big piece for us and you know we're, every week we go in every every offensive line we see we're going to try to find ways to put our guys in the best position so that's that's what we're doing this week I think he's a really good quarterback I think he's really tough uh, you know his dad is a uh, coach there at South Carolina the running back coach and um, he was a all-time winning high school coach in high school, so the kid has a ridiculous IQ for the game. He understands it. He knows where he wants to go. Uh, you know, he, he, he makes great reads. He's not going to be rattled uh, by different looks and things of that nature. Uh, so I, I think very highly of the kid. He's a very, very, very intelligent football player. On that note, Coach, you guys haven't had great success so far this year, rushing the passer, getting sacks. How do you plan on changing that, uh, getting Bentley on his back and having more success there against South Carolina? Well, you know, we're going to continue to, to, uh, to do what we do. And obviously every week we look at uh, ways that we can attack and, um, you know, give our guys the best advantage as far as, uh, you know, rushing, whether it's three, four man, whatever it is, or bringing pressure. So, you know, we've been looking at that uh, this a lot this week. And, you know, um, we feel like we'll – we feel like we, you know, we put together some things that we feel like that can help our team and help our defense. Texas a and got to him five times uh, in the second half. Were they just bringing a regular Texas a and looking at everything. It was a little three-man rush. It was four-man rush. It was pressures. Uh, they gave him different multiple looks. And, uh, you know, so I, that's that's kind of how they got to him. And, you know, and they did a great job covering him, too. You know, a couple times he, he didn't have anywhere to throw the ball, and those guys just being relentless up front were able to, to get him down on the ground. You mentioned T.J. Smith from South Carolina. Do you still have family there? And, and when's the last time you've been to a game? Oh, man. Um, it, it's, it's funny. Um, I went to high school in South Carolina, and uh, my hometown is Greer, mm -hmm. which is about an hour and a half from Columbia. So, you know, in high school, that's all you heard about was the Gamecocks. You either want to be a Gamecock fan or you want to be a Clemson fan. So uh, so I, I remember in high school going to several games, and it, it's been a long time since I've been there. But I always remembered uh, when you went there, it was a rowdy place. You know, those fans are passionate, like Razorback fans are passionate when you come to our stadium. So it, it'll be a raucous arena, I'm sure. Well, I have to ask you now, were you a Clemson fan or a South Carolina fan? <laughs> I knew you were going to ask me that. Um, well, um, at that time, I probably was more of a Carolina fan because they won a little bit more than Clemson at that time. You know, now I, I would bet everybody would say they're a Clemson fan just, you know, uh, just because they won a national championship. But at that time, I probably was a Carolina fan. How many coaches this game for this team? Um, for our team? Yeah. You know, it's, uh, I think it's big just because, number one, it's the next opponent. That's always the next big game. But, you know, I think to, uh, you always want to win in your conference and in your league. And, you know, it's another SEC game. You know, we've played one, and uh, we're right there in the end. But, you know, you, you want to finish and you want to win. So, you know, it's the most important game because it's the next football game. It's the next opportunity that we have as a team to go out and prove ourselves and prove our worth. So, so from that aspect, it is, it is important. How do you feel T.J. Smith has done so far? 
Uh, TJ's doing a nice job for us. He's, uh, he's very conscientious. He works really hard. Uh, he's a very coachable kid, and, you know, he's doing what we're asking him to do. And uh, he's making his plays when it's, you know, they, 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 he's letting the game come to him. But he's, he's, work, he's working really hard. I like, I like how he's working for us. You mentioned last week coaching pissed off, practicing pissed off. Is that mentality different coming off a win? Uh, no, <laughs> you guys, you guys know as well as well as I do as a coach, you're, you're, you're never quite satisfied because there's always other levels that you can get to and obtain. And uh, you know, one of the things that you know we want to continue uh, to get to, we want we want to get to that that championship level, as we say. So there's a lot of things that we can work on. You, you know, we played a good offensive team last week. Uh, that quarterback is really special that we played last week. Uh, just like the one we're playing this week. So, but there's things that we can improve upon, and that's that's what we worked really hard this week to improve upon some things, being sharper uh, and crisper at some of our calls and things of that stuff. So, but you know, we, you know, like you say, you're always you know want to get better as a coach. You never want to stay the same.